Rollers, wheels, rolls, bushings and other components made of polyurethane. They find application in many areas of modern industry. They are distinguished by, among other things, their high resistance to abrasion, cutting and tearing. They are characterized by flexibility, resistance to aging or weather conditions. Polyurethane elastomers, due to their physical and mechanical properties, are increasingly used in the manufacture of products where rubber compounds have historically been used. Currently, they are used in most industrial sectors, including the mining, automotive, engineering, wood and paper industry, as well as many more. Today, we will see how polyurethane products are created. For this purpose, we visited the Asma Polska production plant located in Volodutska in the Mazowiecka province. Let's follow this process. We start with the preparation of molds. They are created, among others, using CNC machine tools. In the warehouse, we will find molds that can be used to manufacture around 30,000 different products. Raw materials for the production of polyurethane cast products are supplied in solid state, in barrels. They must therefore be changed into liquid form. For this purpose, they are heated in heating chambers at a temperature of 50 to 80 degrees Celsius. The temperature and the time when the material remains in the oven are strictly controlled. After complete melting, the raw material is poured into the casting machine's tank. Now it will be necessary to degas the raw material by creating a vacuum in the machine's tank. It allows us to remove any air that could end up in the final product. After the degassing stage, the machine is ready to start casting. While on standby, the raw materials circulate in the pipes at appropriate temperatures and under proper pressure. These are both raw materials that make up the polyurethane system, as well as all kinds of additives in the form of dyes, anti-static agents or flame retardants. Before the pouring process begins, the mold must be properly prepared. It is thoroughly cleaned and the release agent is applied. The whole process is performed in a hot environment and the temperatures of molds oscillate between 100 and 110 degrees Celsius. The operator can now start the casting process. The raw materials are placed in the mixing chamber where they are mixed. Then they are poured into the mold. A reaction that increases the viscosity of the material starts. The plant has 10 casting machines and each works on a different polyurethane system. This is necessary due to the variety of products. Demolding is possible after the material has completely cured. Depending on the type of component, curing takes from a few minutes to several hours. In case of wheels, shafts and other components, where polyurethane is poured onto a metal part, the process requires proper preparation of the metal surface. After degreasing, abrasive blasting is performed, i.e. grit blasting. Next, the bonding agent is applied which needs to be dried and heated. Proper implementation of all elements of the process guarantees that the metal base is inseparably combined with the polyurethane. After the demolding, the products are placed in the oven for post-curing, which usually takes about 16 hours. After this time, initial quality control is performed. We are in the laboratory where we conduct material research. Each production change is controlled for compliance with the established specification. The apparatus also serves to evaluate the possibilities of new formulations that are tailored to the specialist requirements of our clients. Currently, 185 recipes are implemented for production and another 135 are in the test phase. Semi-finished products that have successfully passed the inspection are sent to the machining department. 
Here, they are given their final shape and dimensions, and the surface gains its proper roughness. After the final quality control, all products are cleaned, packaged and shipped to the recipients, mostly companies from Europe, North and South America and Asia.